I'm Deacon Claire Herbert and I'm employed by the Church of Scotland as chaplain at Lodging House Mission. We are a charity dedicated to reducing the harm caused by homelessness and poverty across Glasgow and we run a day centre seven days a week, 365 days a year, providing support for those who need our emergency help. I first felt the call to ministry while running my own holistic therapy business. I was teaching reflexology at the time and the business was taking a new direction. As I prayed about it, I felt God strongly ask me to lay that business aside. He had something else for me to do. Many of my clients came to me with anxiety and stress levels very high and were looking for peace and somewhere to rest. As I prayed about this call to ministry, three of my clients in the same week affirmed that I should be moving into ministry without me having said anything about it. I took that as a sign and went to speak to my minister and that same week she was offering a notice, a call to join the vocations conference. So I found myself the very next week on a train to Dundee to start my journey into ministry. I knew my call was to a ministry of service and that meant following the pathway to the diaconate. My journey took me seven years including a period of discernment and an access year before I could apply at university. It was an intense period studying full time, doing placements and balancing my role as wife and mother. But I was offered great opportunities through my academic studies. I travelled to reformation sites in Germany and the Church of Scotland projects in Israel and I loved that opportunity to be able to make friends on campus and be part of a learning community because those friendships I developed there have sustained me through these early years of ministry and I hope for many years to come. I graduated from Glasgow University with a degree in Divinity in 2017. I completed my practical placements with a probation period in Raploch in Stirling under experienced deacon Jean Porter. I was finally able to apply for a post and was accepted as chaplain of Lodging House Mission in July 2019. Later that same year in November, I was ordained into the diaconate and I was only the second person to be ordained in the Lodging House Mission. Deacons are called selected, trained and ordained to serve across a number of roles. Some in the parish, others feel called by God to leave parish work and move into other spheres such as chaplaincy. In hospitals, workplaces, prisons, the RAF, the deaf community, lodging house missions and church houses. Some deacons serve outside the church entirely, working with organisations such as Crossreach, NHS, Iona Community, teaching or professional counselling. But God calls each of us to live out our vocation to serve in the variety of context and calls us each to make sacrifices in doing so. Those sacrifices are unique to each context and to each individual. But as a dispersed ministry, we affirm a commitment to live by the rule of life and remember one another regularly in prayer. From the moment that you start the journey into ministry, and take a step onto the path of the diaconate, you will be welcomed into a network of deacons who make a commitment to one another and to serving God. No matter where or how we serve, deacons commit to regularly network together with each other, providing support and companionship locally, nationally and even internationally through a variety of ecumenical diaconate organisations. This commitment resulted in Scotland hosting 200 deacons from across the region of Europe and Africa in 2019. It was a diverse mix of cultures and backgrounds and traditions where friendships were allowed to grow, ideas flourished and skills were shared as we worshipped, shared stories of mission and ate and prayed together. These are some of the blessings that God gives as we commit our lives to serve. So if you feel inspired and called to the diaconate, I'm always happy to talk to people about my particular call to serve from Matthew 25, 40, to see Christ in others and to be Christ for others on the margins and fringes of society. 
but I'm also happy to receive invitations to speak about my work as chaplain in Lodging House Mission. Please do get in touch through our website. Our day centre manager Stephen has worked in the homeless sector in Glasgow for over 30 years and he gave his life to serving others. He was always looking for an opportunity to make life a little better for people. Above all, he was content to simply spend time around those who came to the centre, befriending them and making them feel welcome and special. Many people's lives were all the better for having met him, including my own. Sadly, Stephen died after catching COVID-19 in February 2021. And although we didn't have the chance to work together for very long, his example of a life dedicated to serving others will remain with me as the biggest inspiration of these early years of ministry. COVID-19 has presented many challenges to the work that we do. Early in the pandemic, we took the difficult decision to close our day centre to the public and prevent social gathering. We've done a great deal of work over this last year to adapt our services so that we can continue to work to meet the changing needs of those who are experiencing homelessness. Our staff team have remained on furlough while our day centre has been closed, so it's with a small team of dedicated volunteers that centre manager Stephen and I have worked tirelessly to serve anyone who came to us for help. They might have been clients or partner agencies or local businesses or even congregations. In January 2020, I had been out speaking to several guild gatherings and I commented and shared with them that God had been richly blessing us with many donations over the Christmas period, far more than were normal for our mission. I made the joke that God was preparing us for something to come in the year ahead, but I had little idea what we would actually be facing. It's with the help of our supporters that we've collected continuing supply of donations, emergency kettle food, toiletries, clothing and other items to assist our partner agencies to respond to the needs of our many clients. We've developed relationships with agencies to help deliver supplies directly to temporary accommodation in hotels and hostels. We set up a free hot meal voucher scheme with a local takeaway premises so that no one needs to go without a hot meal. And I've been running a dedicated chaplaincy line for prayer, bereavement and support since July. All of this has been made possible through continued relationship building with partner agencies, congregations and businesses. Deacons work collaboratively in their ministry and as a result I'm always on the lookout for opportunities to strengthen partnerships and to work and share resources so that we might multiply the effect of our impact all to the glory of God whom we serve. My role is a diverse one and that's one of the things that I love about my work. It offers me an opportunity to meet people and engage with a wide range of sectors. No two days in my role are the same. I work across the whole of Glasgow Presbytery and beyond its boundaries, promoting the work of Lodging House Mission within congregations and helping them to raise awareness of the experiences and harms that homelessness produces. I enjoy giving tours of our premises and welcoming supporters back to visit with us and see our work in practice. I also work with a wide range of partners across the sector for homelessness in Glasgow so that we might provide the broadest support possible for our guests. That means that I go to a wide range of sector meetings and events and I'm exposed to a variety of agendas and perspectives on the issues of homelessness. But the most important part of my role as chaplain remains relationship building, getting to know the men and women who come to Lodging House Mission, perhaps over a meal, sometimes over a cup of coffee, or even a game of pool. Many of the men and women find their way to the mission in a time of crisis or have it as a place of last resort, but all find a welcome and all belong round the tables of Lodging House Mission. We have a small staff team with a wealth of experience who seek to create an environment where every person is recognised and they are unique and valued as an individual 
they are not seen as a problem we need to solve.